What's up everybody, this is Alex Yu. I just want to take the time to talk to you guys for a little bit. Most of the time you've been watching me going around the city, checking out the different sites and events and trying out new food, but I just want to sit down and just reflect for a little bit. I want to call this my summer 2012 recap video. A lot of things that happened during the summer, I didn't really expect any of it. It just kind of happened and it was a good thing. You know, everybody wants to have a great summer. Before summer happens, some people are already planning it out and planning out vacations, planning out what they're gonna do and all the fun things that can happen during the summertime. There's a lot of great activities, mostly consisting of outdoors and enjoying the sun. But sometimes there are people who just wanna roll with it. You know, just whatever happens, happens. But at the end of the day, nobody wants to have a crappy summer. Well anyways, let me just tell you about the highlights of my summer. The first highlight of my summer is that I got invited out to SAVCON, that's Savannah, Georgia's very first unofficial Transformers convention. Now who would have known that doing movie reviews and talking about the things that I love on video, on YouTube, would get me an invitation out to SAVCON. SAVCON was a great experience for me, it was a two day event, and it was a great opportunity for me to just see what's out there, going to my very first Transformers convention and also meeting my fans. I didn't know I'd had so many fans that enjoyed what I did on YouTube. And it was just not only a wonderful event, but a great experience for me. So SAVCON was definitely a highlight of my summer. If you wanna check out my vlogs from SAVCON, stay until the end of the video and you'll find some video links. The next highlight of my summer is my good friend from Hong Kong visiting me out here in Vancouver. And that once again was an unexpected thing. None of this was really planned. She only expected to visit her friends and family out in Las Vegas and LA. But she figured that it's her first time flying out to North America, she might as well visit me out here in Vancouver. And while it was a visit that wasn't pre-planned well in advance, it was still a great thing. I took some time off from work so I can show it around and it was a really great decision for me because I got to experience a lot of great things that my own city has to offer. I've always loved being in Vancouver and living here. I think it's a beautiful city, but I appreciate it even more after acting like a tourist. But because you get to see the city, from a tourist point of view and you get to see all the wonderful things that this beautiful city has to offer. It kind of reminds you that you shouldn't take things for granted or you should cherish the things that you already have and not what you don't have. And that is exactly why I've been making the videos that I've been making here on this channel. It's for me to show you all the wonderful things that the city has to offer and my friend visiting me in Vancouver really reinforced that. Her visit was 12 days and it made me 12 days behind in my own work but it was totally worth it. If you want to check out the vlogs from my Vancouver tour Stay till the end of this video for the video links. And the third highlight of my summer is of course watching the big summer blockbuster movies. You guys already know that I'm a huge movie buff, so watching The Dark Knight Rises was definitely a highlight of my summer. Now even though I told you what my top three highlights of my summer are, the moral of the story is just one thing, and that is play the cards that you have been dealt. A lot of times we plan things, and we hope these things will go exactly as planned but sometimes they just don't go that way. And that could be for the worse or for the better. I prefer to have it for the better and make the best out of things. Even though my friend was visiting me from Hong Kong and it put me 12 days behind in my own work, it was still a great 12 days. I made the best out of that, but I had to work extra harder to make it work. And sometimes these are the sacrifices that you just have to make for a better result. And when I say result, I mean a result overall. The result of me putting my work aside ended up in me having 12 days of fun. And with regards to my trip to SAVCON, it was unexpected, but I was really grateful for the invitation. I put five days of my work aside and it still ended up being a great thing. And who would have known the Dark Knight Rises would have ended up being so epic. I mean, okay, fine, we already knew it was gonna be epic, but still the fact is that these things happened and it ended up being better than expected. So regardless of how much you plan for things, sometimes things change and you have to adapt and you have to just roll with the punches. Play the cards that have been dealt in front of you and just roll with it. And the number one thing of all is just stay positive and make the best out of it. The summer is almost over. I still have a list of things to do, which includes going back to the summer night market for some more exotic Asian cuisine. And also I gotta hike the gross grind again to beat my own time. And that's all I have to say in this video. So remember what I said, sometimes we try to plan for things, but things change and don't always go our way. You have to adapt to that change and stay positive and make the best out of it. And at the end of the day, you will be happy with what you have. I just told you what my summer highlights were. Let me know in the comments section below what were yours. With the summer only having a few weeks left, I hope you have a good one. My name is Alex Yu and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Oh, 218 flavors. 218, flavor. sorry. 218 flavors. International ice cream. International ice cream.
the people eat here too. 